Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are once again going to be talking about The Last of Us Part 2. Just when you think that we are probably not going to have anything to talk about when it comes to The Last of Us Part 2, we get something like this that once again brings it back up into the conversation. Now before I get with the video, I do just want to say one thing. I did discuss this in the live stream that I just did, so if you were there then you probably already know what I'm about to talk about, but just in case you weren't there, I will. I am making this video right here because I do feel like uh, people need to know about this. So that's why I'm making this video. So what exactly happened? Well, Laura Bailey, in case you don't know, is the one who portrayed Abby. Abby, probably the most controversial character uh, in the, in the in all of uh, the Last of Us Part Two. Like there are people who hate her. There are people who like her. There are people who are just completely indifferent to her. But overall, she is the most prominent character from The Last of Us Part Two, and she is a big, big source as to why so many people did not like the character. And Laura Bailey even gives her, even weighs in on this discussion as, as to why people did not like the character. So what happened is she basically when she basically did this interview where she opened up about her thoughts on Abby. The Last of Us Part 2's Laura Bailey talks about her controversial role as Abby. Quote, I knew that I was going to get some hate. I didn't anticipate the extent. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire interview. You're free to go read it by on your uh, on your own uh, on your own time if you want to. I'm just going to be focusing on the specific part where she talks about Abby because I think that this is the thing that we need to focus on the most. Let's go ahead and look at this. Aside from the disgusting death threats and abuse Laura sustained, she still believes that her portrayal of Abby was one of the most fulfilling and noteworthy characters she has played throughout her long and successful career. Quote, it was a difficult role, but I think it's an incredible story, and I think Abby is, man, just one of the most amazing characters that I've ever played. Yeah, I, I disagree with that, but okay. Uh, on the flip side of the coin, Bailey can also empathize with players on their initial loathing of Abby as she also had trouble coming to terms with Abby's actions throughout the game herself and even struggled with wondering how she was cast for the role. Quote, I knew the story, and this is the, this is the, this is the, this is the interesting part, listen to this. I knew the story, I knew what I was getting into, and when it hit day one with Abby, I still didn't like Abby. Let me repeat that. I still didn't like Abby. She goes on to say, I didn't like my performance. I didn't like the character. I remember playing for like three hours into day one as Abby and talking to my husband, Travis, and being like, I don't know what I did. I don't, or excuse me, I don't like what I did. I'm not good. This is terrible. I don't know how I was cast. All of these years of work is for nothing. And he's like, uh, just shut up, go back, keep playing, because you're obviously very biased right now. And as I continued to play then, I was like, oh, okay, I just had to acclimate myself because I didn't like me. I didn't like Abby. You're not supposed to, you know? And again, like this, th this is insane, okay? You know your character is bad when even the person who portrayed the character goes out and says that they did not like the character. Now, again, that is a big, big, uh, big, big, um, this, this is big, okay, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened there. But the thing is, you never want the person portraying the character to not like the character because people can see that. They can see that, like they can see it on screen. They can always tell whenever a character or whenever the uh, the actor or actress is just it just does not like what they're doing. You can always tell. You can always tell when they don't like what they're doing. And even Laura Bailey comes out and just outright says, "I didn't like the character. I did not like Abby." But probably the thing that the thing something else that I think we need to focus on is this line right here. Bailey can also Bailey can also empathize with players on their initial loathing of Abby. Now, this to me again is very very important because here's the thing: in a lot of cases, like this, we see this with everything, not just in Last of Us Part Two. We see this with everything, whether it's movies, TV shows, comics, and yes, including video games. We see this everywhere. Whenever someone comes out and says they don't like a character, people who like the character or at least a very small minority of them, will come out and outright attack anyone who does not like the character. Like, they cannot understand it. They cannot comprehend that there are people who just don't like the character. And here's the thing. 
even if a character is well written, even if they are well written, even if people who do not, people who don't like the character can at least admit, no, this is a well written character. I just don't like it. Like they they can't comprehend that. They can't understand that because it's always one thing or another with them. You are you either like the character or you hate the character. There there's no in between. Like there's no nuance to it. It's 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 always one or the other, and that's what's so frustrating with this. And the problem is that. There are a lot of companies now that, especially in Hollywood, that choose to pander to those certain people, people who believe it's always one or the other. They never choose to uh, like uh, try to sell it, try to sell their product to the majority, which is the people who have more nuanced opinions and, and people who understand that there are people who are not going to think the same way as them. There are people who aren't going to like the characters that they do. There are people who are going to like characters that you don't. Like that's just that's just how people work. Again, it's 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 different shades of gray. It's not black and white. Like I just I don't understand why there are so many people who don't get this, and why people in Hollywood and especially now we're starting to see with the games industry that are pandering to those people. It's just it's it's insane to me, and I just I I don't understand what it is. But again. I just I honestly did not think that we were ever going to get something like this. Like it's one thing to to see other people who you know used to like who used to like something that you hated start to come around and say you know what i i didn't like this but it's another thing when someone who worked on the product especially someone who portrayed one of the characters to come out and just outright admit yeah i didn't like the character either or at least i think she says that she didn't like it at first that she had to she had to acclimate to it and i just it's it's insane i i just look it's there. It's there. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this. But look, these are just my thoughts, guys. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about what uh, Laura Bailey said in this interview? Do you agree with her? Do you disagree with her? Do you disagree with my thoughts? Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you want more from, the, from me and this channel. Especially subscribe. And please make sure to click on the bell icon to let you know whenever a new video goes out and whenever I go live. So, with all that said and out of the way, thank you so much for watching again. And please join me for the next video. Bye for now.